What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Ken Dog from In the Clutch Entertainment and Nuevo Tech Productions. We're here at the 2011 Hip Hop International event in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm standing here with the creator and founder of Hip Hop International and also America's Best Dance Crew, Howard Swartz. How are you doing here, Howard? I'm just very, very fine too. But I want to let you know something. I'm actually the co-creator. Co-creator. Right. Karen Schwartz. Yes, sir. My wife mm -hmm. is my partner. Yes, sir. And we both did it together. They did it together. You right. see that? See That's that? a team. Yeah. That's the team. And you know what? In October, we're going to be married 25 years. Wow. Congratulations Soon on that. Old man doing yes, sir. Pop, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, man. You, you guys put on a great event today here, and it's Thank the you. 10th anniversary. You know, how are you feeling right now of being 10 years running? You know, that's pretty good. Uh, it Actually, it is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm surprised myself. Uh, yeah. I mean, we try every year to do every year to do one better than the year before. Right. And this year was really special for us. Tenth anniversary. We really wanted it to be a memorable evening for everyone, a memorable week. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's what we wound up having. It, very it was great. Was. People enjoyed themselves. I, I enjoyed myself as well. You know, covering the event and everything. Um, real quick question: How did uh, for those who don't know, how did this whole event start? You know, I know you guys worked very hard. It started in 2002. Am I correct? Yeah, absolutely. Start you 2002. Did your I sure. Great. did do my very homework good. on it, you know. It and did start in 2000. Mm -hmm. Actually, it started a couple of years prior to 2002. Mm -hmm. um, Karen and I were traveling uh, in many different countries. And, and I've said this before, what, what's so interesting is we went to Paris. We saw the B-Boys in the streets. We mm -hmm. went to Tokyo and we saw dance crews dancing in the windows. Right. And, and we kept saying this, there's something here, but not a lot of people know about it. I mean, right. you can dance and ask for a few bucks on the street. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like the B-Boys... Who, how many people have actually ever seen a really b-boy battle? You right. know, and that was the thing we said. We need to expose this to more people. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting to watch. It's so much fun, mm -hmm. and it's just not getting out there. We wanted to be able to get it out there, get it on television, and get it in front of millions of people. And that's how we started. It. I threw an idea, a little, a little bit of hard work, mm -hmm. and a little bit of luck. That's what I'm talking about. Hard work. That's all it takes. That's it all does. it is. A little bit of luck doesn't and, help. And you guys have hurt. given the, the opportunity to many different dancers all across the country to expose their talents and everything. And I just want to say thank you, you know, myself, because you have done that for me as well. well thank uh, you. Right? And um, now, th now, again, this 10-year running, you know, in New Zealand happened to be the highlight of the event this year. You know, what, do you, what are your thoughts on them, how they have, they have grown from such a, a small country into this big phenomenon. They're like a powerhouse now. You know, it's it's amazing to watch them, and it's amazing because it's not just New Zealand. And it's right now, it's the girls. Right mm -hmm. now, it's Paris and, right. and and Request, and and now it's Bubblegum and Sorority and all the right. different crews that she's putting together. She's just an amazing dancer and choreographer. Mm -hmm. But you know, before that, there was Desire, right. and there were you know other dance crews, the guy crews. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's it's just one after another and after another. But they keep raising the level. They right. keep raising the bar, and everybody has to look and say, "Wow, we got to compete against." that yeah and now that's what's that's what's making it better because when you compete at the highest level mm -hmm. you're challenging others to do better too exactly and that's what makes it a great event an exciting show and great talent that's what it's all about so let me ask you this now what are we going what can we expect for the next year to come like i know you guys are going to raise the bar <laughs> again as you guys always do what do you think we how are we going to raise the bar again I don't know. I mean, I think we're going to be starting to continuously look for better talent. Mm -hmm. You know, we had 37 countries wow. here this year for the championship. That's great. The, mm -hmm. the level keeps growing. And um, I don't know. We're just going to have a better event next year. Trust me. Yes, sir. And you guys have America's Best Dance Crew coming up again. Season 7, they just announced it. Isn't right. that exciting? That is Season exciting. 7, be Season watching seven. for it. We are excited. Oh, so yeah. It's, it's going to be a bang. You guys had a great year last year, yeah. if I do say so myself. We did. Thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I have again the co-founder of Hip Hop International and America's Best Dance Crew, Howard Swartz. I'm your boy Ken Dog, Nuevo Tech Productions. We're here at Las Vegas, 2011, Hip Hop International. We'll see you guys later. Thank Peace. you, Ken Dog. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.